Hey guys, so now that Apple has officially released iOS 16.1 with live activity support, it just makes sense for me to share with you guys some of my favorite live activity applications that currently support the feature on the latest OS. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first app i want to share with you guys and every single app featured in this video will be linked in the description this one is for sports lovers right here it is sports alert it is a really cool application actually you have your leaderboards your teams news and information but on the bottom left here we have the actual sports so whatever sports you like you can choose from this list here i really i like nba so i'm going to select nba and once a live sports event is happening you can tap into the actual game and on these three dots here on the top you can tap in here and it will give you the option to enable live activity and you can track it in real time directly from your lock screen now there isn't any live games happening right now so i did screen record something from last night and there it is i selected nba i went and selected right there golden state versus phoenix i tap on those three dots start live activity and then i go to my lock screen and you can see right there i can keep track of the scores and i can also disable this feature by going back tapping on the three dots and disabling the feature right there from the actual application itself and all you have to do is simply just select the sport, select the team, tap on those three dots, and the live activity will be on your lock screen and also on Dynamic Island if you have an iPhone 14 as well. And you can keep track of your scores of your favorite teams and sports as well so let me know what you think about this one i really really love that one now the next app i want to share with you guys is for those of you that like to travel a lot or if you're picking people up from the airport and you want to keep track of a current flight flighty will allow you to do that with a live activity super clean ui of course you can tap here into the search tab right here search for a particular flight and then once you select the flight it will go directly to your live activity in or dynamic island so i'm going to go ahead and choose a random flight just for the purpose of this video so right there it is i can select the flight just like so, and right now when I quit the app right here or close the app, it shows it right there on Dynamic Island and or the lock screen there as a live activity. I can go ahead and track the actual flight directly from the lock screen in real time. So super clean, super awesome application to keep track of flights. Right there it is, flighty. Of course, this one, of course, will be in the description down below as well. Now, the third app I want to share with you guys is easily one of my favorite applications because this one allows you to basically have the dock of your iPhone on the lock screen and launch applications directly from there, which is super cool. Now, if you've told me this last year that was going to be possible on the iPhone, I would have probably laughed because this is something we used to do on jailbroken iPhones and it is so cool to have these apps directly on the lock screen of your iPhone and also extensions for certain things and settings as well. Now, this one is called Lock Launcher and this application, of course, will be linked down below. You have your favorites, you have right here your lock screen, your discovery, you also have right here additional options for news and settings as well so i'm going to go to favorites because it's the option that i want to talk about in order to add these particular options to the lock screen here you have your island up top here now this works on devices without dynamic island as well so any iphone can use this application you have your toggle here for live activity enable or disable and then you have other settings which we'll talk about here in just a few seconds so right here you have the maximum of amount of numbers that you can have on the lock screen so i think it's eight applications maximum i'm going to set it to six right there and then you have your around the corner and things like that so let's go ahead and go ahead and set it up here quickly let me show you how easy it is so under favorites all you have to do is click on add and right here it allows you to choose you can go ahead and choose from any of these options down here you have system settings which we'll talk about in just a second and then you have the apps that are on your iPhone and Apple apps I'm just gonna go into Apple apps here just for an example I want to go ahead and add the phone tap on the three dots here add it to favorites and now once I go to the lock screen the phone application is now added now you can also change these icons here on the lock screen you can change the position of the icons as well so let's click save here you can move them around and sort of move them just like so and change the position of the actual icons and just like that you can also go into dynamic island settings or island settings here and make them rounder as well so if you go up to like let's say nine or eight they look like circles just like that which is super cool you can control that as well my number is about 
for it's where I like it. You can also control where it does it show on Dynamic Island, left or right on the display. You also have the maximum amount of numbers and additional options down here you can play around with. Super awesome application. I really, really love this app. Now, I can also go ahead and delete all these applications and set up system settings. So for example, let's go ahead and remove these apps here and let's set up system setting options. So right here, we're done deleting this setup. Now I can go and set up system settings. So click on the add click on the choose action and click on system settings right here and now I can add things like let's say Wi-Fi directly to the lock screen by clicking on add to favorites I can add Bluetooth to the lock screen as well I can have a cell data service option right here to enable or disable I can do hotspot setting application I mean it is so awesome so let's go ahead and set up the hotspot and I think we're good to go with this now when we go to the lock screen we have settings for the actual system settings and you can go ahead and toggle these on or off directly from the lock screen this is easily one of my favorite apps as i mentioned if you had told me that this was going to be possible on iphone before a jailbreak i would say you are insane but yeah it is possible you can set applications on the lock screen shortcuts with this one as well for your settings this is a super cool one lock launcher available in the links in the description down below thank you for watching today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and i'll see you on the next one Peace.